Okay, so sorry about the glare on the main screen. Anyways, my P1S and my P1P started getting this issue at the same time. Uh, when you go up and down at certain heights on the Z-axis, you'll hear a squeak. I read a fix, so I'm just taking some pre so I can get some you know, audio, show the problem, and then hopefully do the fix and it is resolved. Mainly see it at a couple of specific heights. Should see it when I go up. Of course. Right there. There we go. Okay, so you hear it a bit. It's a little inconsistent, but uh, pretty sure it's because uh, some filament basically got stuck somewhere. So I'm going to flip it over and look and try to fix it. Looks like it did fix it. I'll go ahead and move the bed up and down in a second show you. All I did was use this three-in-one dry lube here. Uh, basically prop the printer up on its side. You can get access to the Z-axis belt underneath. It has like a triple pulley system type deal. The belts like sync to them. Basically I just put a little bit of dry lube on uh, each of the pulleys and then just a little bit on the actual belt itself. I don't know if this is like the best lube to use for it or whatever. I don't know if you should even be doing that, but someone suggested online and it did alleviate my symptoms. So. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. And I'm only gonna go like halfway down and then back up. Cause I wasn't getting it when I was bottoming out. I would get it basically on these next two steps like really loudly, but now I have nothing, so. I got my P1P turned over on its side here. I'm gonna do the same fix to this because I had the same issue with it. Uh, my P1S, you know, this fix resolved it, so I assume it will for this. Basically flip it over, look for any sort of filament or debris that may be uh, in here. Sometimes they can get wedged, I guess like here in this, I don't know what this piece is called, but it has a specific name. Uh, there's like a disassembly guide on the wiki for it. Some people have to replace them occasionally. Not sure why, but that's something that, you know, could be an issue for you. Wasn't an issue for me here. So I took this dry lube here and I just put a little bit, like say a drop or two on a few points in like the belt and then one on the actual pulley wheels themselves. And that's what solved it for me. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And then I'm gonna turn my P1P on and record it. So I've got my P1P back straight up and I'm gonna go ahead and just move the bed from the bottom to the top and show that there's no like squeaking. Got a bit of residue on my fingers, I think. The touchscreen is kinda, no, no, do not home. So, no more squeaking, seems good. I guess I'll home it. A separate issue that I need to clean the, uh, the carbon rods, but it's fine. So yeah, that seems to have fixed it.